Hello everyone, this is Ambarish and you are watching EduShark. If you are a student or a research scholar, you must have read an academic article. And in the end of academic article, you must have seen this type of referencing list. What if you are required to prepare this type of referencing list? It looks difficult? Don't worry. I am going to solve your problem in this video today. In order to prepare this type of referencing list, first of all, you need to know which referencing style you are required to use. Then there are different types of sources from where you take the information. You will be required to cite those sources in the chosen referencing style. For different types of sources, there are different guidelines provided in different referencing styles. You will be required to remember all those guidelines or you will be required to at least keep the guidelines in your laptop or your system. These sources may include books, journals, magazines, newspapers, websites, conference papers and so on. How will you remember these many guidelines? It's really tough, right? What if I say that you are not required to remember all these guidelines? Yes, there are referencing tools that will help you in creating references in one single click. Today, we are going to discuss one such tool. We are going to discuss Microsoft Word referencing tool for creating list of references or bibliography. We shall cover this point in four important steps. Point number one, how to insert citations. Point number two, how to create list of references or bibliography. Point number three, how to edit the citations. What if you have made some mistakes in the citations and you want to edit it? How will you do it? And point number four, using placeholders for creating list of references. So let's go to my laptop screen and understand this in detail. So guys, before starting the tutorial, I would like to inform you that I have taken this article as a sample article. This is written on the topic, the Cold War. Now you must be thinking that whatever example I take is related to war only. But uh, I am not a person who believes in war. It's just that by chance it is happening that whatever example I take is related to war. Uh, anyways, so the point is that this example article I have taken and I will insert citations in this article so that I can present how we insert citations in an article. Now if you see this article, there are no citations in this article. So I have arranged four sources as well. These are the four sources. First source is this book. Second source is this website of National Geographic. There is an article written on Cold War. So I am assuming that this article is also used in writing that sample article. Then I have taken this newspaper article, the New York Times article. And then I have taken this most important source of information, which is a journal article. So I am assuming that all these four articles are used in writing this sample article. Now I will insert citations one by one and I'll show you how you can insert citations. I have taken different types of sources so that you can also understand how in citations are done for different types of sources. So let's assume that here in this paragraph, this information is written with the help of that book. So we will come here and insert our citation. So first we need to understand many students make this mistake that they insert the citation after the full stop. You must remember that the citation is given before the full stop. So you need to put your cursor here before the full stop and then you need to come to the references tab now this tab is very important tab and for specifically for academic article academic writing this tab is really really important so you must know all these tools available in this tab currently we are going to talk about only this particular portion known as citations and bibliography so here if you look there are different options given first option is insert citation you can read the information available here about insert citation and then another option is manage sources then here style option is given you can choose styles as per your requirement and then 
next option is bibliography so you can create your bibliography as well so i'll come to each option one by one but let us first use insert citation so our point starts with inserting the citations first so we'll come here and we will click on add new source as soon as you click here this window comes and here you are required to select which type of source you are going to cite so here you can see that different types of sources are given book book section journal article article in a periodical conference proceeding report website electronic source art sound recording film interview so there are many sources which are given here now you have to select which type of source you have so our source is a book so we'll select book and then we will add author information here now you can directly add author information but i would suggest you to come here and click on edit and then add author information because it would be better if you add the last name and the first name and the middle name as it is required here so let's go to our book so this is the book let's look at the author's name so here you have author's name let's enter this author's detail this is the first name this is middle name and this is the last name so we'll enter this detail accordingly let's enter this detail last name first name and this is the middle name let's click on add so we have added first author let's add the second author so you can add this author as well now you have added the author's name click on ok if you have any kind of editing required you can definitely use these buttons you can select the author you can make it up or down as per your requirement you can if if you think that the details are incorrect you can delete it as well so these buttons are also available as of now we are just adding it so click ok now you can see that author's details are added let's suppose that you do not have the author's name then what will you do in that case you can use this option corporate author and here you will put the name of the corporate as of now we have the author's name that's why we have uh, entered this now let's come here and put the title of the book so the title of the book is the united nations in the post cold war era so let's enter the title so i have entered the title now in which year the book was published this book is published in 2019 by routledge publishers so let's mention the year 2019 and in which city it is published you can see that it is published in new york so you can mention the name of the city as well and who is the publisher routledge so i have mentioned the name of the publisher as well now you have entered the required details but you need to see here so all bibliography fields if you think that you have some other information that you want to enter you can simply click on this option and see some other important details are also available so if you have these details you can certainly add these details as well for example let's say if you want to enter a specific page number you can put the page numbers here if you want to enter edition you can as in enter edition here all these things you can enter but you must remember that the red stars are the mandatory fields where you have to enter an information so as of now we are going with that uh, mandatory fields only so here we have entered all the details now we simply need to click on ok and our citation will be inserted see we just clicked ok and our citation is already here minced and cans 2019 so this is how in text citation is done in apa style because we have chosen apa sixth edition that is why it is showing in apa style now let's go to the second author and let's assume that this information is taken from second source the second source that we have is this uh, article website article so this article is written by Erin Blackmore and it is written in 2022 on 23rd of March we have the article title as well and the name of the website and URL. so we have all the required details let us put the citations here so again if we want to enter the index citation here we need to put our cursor here just before the full stop and we need to come here and click on add new source so you can see that the previous source is already appearing here if you want to enter the same source here you simply need to click here see again this it, this one is entered but we do not want this source again so we are deleting it 
and we are we are required to add a new source so here we'll click on add a new source and this time we have a website so we'll select website here now again some important fields are appearing so we'll enter the details one by one so let's first enter the author's detail so i have entered the author's detail last name blackmore first name erin and then add it then click ok now name of the web page name of the web page means title of the article so we'll put the title of the article here so i have entered the title of the article now name of the website name of the website is national geographic now year in which year the article was written so the article is written in 2022 march 23rd so let's enter the details now it is asking for url one thing also you can note that if you are not sure about what is this field here example is giving so you can see the example also in order to get some help now url means the link so let's enter the link here copy the url and paste it here so we have entered the entire detail now if you want some other information to enter you can definitely enter other information come here and you will get some more fields now in websites normally we enter the access year as well because website articles are written in a back date but if you are accessing it today we should en enter the access detail as well so year accessed is again 2022 month accessed is october and day accessed is 10. if you have some other information you can enter that as well but as of now i am entering this information only so i have entered all the required fields that i have now i am just clicking on ok see again our second in-text citation is entered now similarly we will enter the third in-text citation let us suppose that this information this paragraph is taken from the third source so we'll insert our citation here the, the third source that we have is this newspaper article of new york times so here again you will come insert citation add new source we can use it as a website or we can use it as a article in a periodical because it is a newspaper so you can use article in a periodical now enter the author's detail author's detail are added title I have added the title periodical title means newspaper name so the newspaper name is new york times year in which year the article is written it's in 1972 september 10 so 1972 september 10 pages if you have pages you can enter if not then you can skip it now if you want to enter url and all other details you can simply come here and enter the url detail here you have the URL. So if you want to enter the URL detail, you can come here, copy the URL and paste it here. So now we have entered the required details that we have. And here we do not have page numbers. That That's why we are not entering it. If you have page number, you should enter it because it is a recommended field. So we are just clicking OK. Now see, again, our in-text citation is inserted. Let us assume our fourth article fourth source is used in this paragraph and you can see that here some information is written some uh, facts and data is written so obviously whenever some data facts or figures are written you should always use the in-text citation there so i am in assuming that this information is taken from the fourth source which is a journal article so i'll put my cursor here and again i'll enter the details of this journal article okay so let's enter this journal articles detail come here and again add a new source now this time we have a journal article so we'll select journal again we'll put author's detail so you can see author's details are added now and enter the other details title journal name international studies quarterly year 1999 pages 145 to 167 then in journal articles there are some other details which are important like volume number issue number and all how come i am able to tell you all this because i have already created a video on apa citation style if you haven't seen that video please go ahead and watch it it will give you a clear understanding about the detailed apa style referencing so here we are required to enter volume number and issue number in this journal article we do not have any issue number but we have volume number which is 43 so let's enter this volume number 
let's look at the field of volume so here we have volume number so we'll enter here 43 since we do not have issue numbers we are skipping it now click ok see so you have this fourth in-text citations added now this is how you can add your in-text citations so i believe now you have understood how in-text citations are added in an article Now the next point is about creating a bibliography, list of bibliography or references. So for this we will come at the end of the article and we are required to add a new page because in APA style references are given on a separate page. So we will come to the insert and add a page break. Now we are on a separate page. Here we need to enter our bibliography now you will realize why we have added these many details using insert citation uh, that if we if we wanted only this kind of in-text citations it was easy to type only we could have typed the surname of the authors and the year it was easy why did we enter these many details now you will understand why we entered these many details so you come here and if you want to add your bibliography you simply need to come on this particular option and when you click here it gives you three types bibliography references work cited now what is the difference between a bibliography and a reference you can tell me on the comment section i i am required to create a references list so i am going to click here see the entire references list is automatically prepared so now you can see how easy it is to create references like this. Earlier you were worried that this is so difficult but see this is too easy. So guys after this the next point is about editing the sources. It is possible that while entering this citations you have entered some incorrect information and you want to edit it. How will you do it? For example, in this entire references, I purposefully made a mistake. What exactly I did? I wrote the author's name in capital letters for these two references. Actually, we should not write it in capital letters. The correct way of writing author's detail is like this. But I purposefully wrote it in capital letters so that I can show you how you can edit the references. Now we want to correct these references. So how will we do it? Simple. You need to come here again in the references and come to the manage sources option. Click here. Now this is an important window that you need to understand. Here in this area you are able to see the master list. Master list means this area will include all the in-text citations or the references that you have used in Word document in this particular laptop or a system. And in the current list, it will show you all the references that you have used in the document that you are currently writing. So this is very important because if you keep a track of all the sources that you have used it becomes easier for you to use the same sources again and again currently we are required to make some edit so here these are the sources which we want to edit so we'll select this and you can simply come on edit and edit the sources so click on edit now you can see that this is the author name that we have written in capital letters and we want it in small letter so come here edit and let's add the name again so we have added it in a correct manner let's delete this one okay and click ok see now we have corrected the author name similarly if you want to edit anything else let's suppose the uh, year was mistakenly written 2022 it is 2021 so you have corrected this as well now click ok now it says that this source exists in your master list and the current document. Do you want to update both the lists with these changes? If you want to update this and this both the list, then you should click yes. If you do not want, then you should click no. So I am willing to change it for both the lists. So I'll click yes. Now our details are changed. Now close it. Similarly, we want to change the details in this source as well. So let's come and change the details in this source as well so this is the 
reference that we want to edit so select it go to edit and again change the details so i have added the details in the correct manner now i am deleting the incorrect details click ok so now you can see that the details are corrected click ok again click yes now my details are corrected so click close now you will see that we have corrected the details but it is showing in the same manner what you are required to do you are simply required to click here and then update the citation and bibliography and it's corrected so this is how you can edit the references or the in-text citations so in the end guys i would like to tell you another important thing in uh, references tab sometimes it becomes difficult to keep on adding the in-text citations while writing for example i am writing this paragraph and suddenly i thought that this in-text citation i should enter here and then i should go ahead with the next information and write it but since i am writing i have this flow of information in my mind it is difficult to enter the citation detail and then go ahead with the other information so what happens you do not want to enter the citation right now you want to enter the citation in the end of the article means you have written the article and then you want to come here and want to enter this citation so what you can do you can use placeholders for example let's suppose that this paragraph you are writing and here you want that you you will put your in-text citation here but as of now you do not want to do it you want to do it once the article is completed so for that you should remember that here you are required to enter the in-text citation so for that you can simply use placeholder come here and add a new placeholder so you can simply just click here and you if you want to name it you can name it or you can simply use the default name placeholder one now see here a placeholder is added now this information of the source you can keep it somewhere else and once the complete article is written you can come here and edit it and insert your citation similarly if you want a second placeholder here or let's suppose you think that here the second in-text citation should be here then again you can use this placeholder so see this is placeholder 2 so it is automatically renaming so earlier it was placeholder 1 now it is placeholder 2 so and you can keep the details of these uh, sources somewhere else and once the entire article is written you can simply come here and edit it and add the details in this manner you will not miss in-text citations at appropriate pl places you will be able to put your in-text citations whenever it is required and it will make your citations easy as well for example let's suppose now i have written the article and i want to edit it so i just simply need to come here and you need to simply click here and edit source so if our source was let's suppose a book so we'll select book we'll add the author name i am adding my name itself i've just entered some details here and click ok now you see that this placeholder is changed with the author's detail and document detail you can see similarly you can change the this detail as well after adding these details you are required to again update the list of references because here you have added the placeholder but the details are not here so you simply come here and update it see once i updated i got this detail as well uh, this is my placeholder one and this is my placeholder two so this is how you can use placeholders for creating references so guys i have now explained you the entire detail i have explained you how you can use insert citation you can, how you can use manage sources style bibliography one important thing which I am missing here is that let's suppose that you are required to change the style of the references. So it becomes very easy. For example, mistakenly you used APA, but you are required to use Harvard. So if you are using this tool of Microsoft Word, it becomes very easy to change the style of the references. You simply come here and click on the required style and the entire document will change your references in the current style. So let's suppose I'm choosing Harvard. I clicked here and see the entire references changed into Harvard style. Similarly, in-text citations are also changed into Harvard style. 
see here it is changed into Howard stack so this is how this help this tool helps us in creating the list of references in adding the citations as well as in managing the sources so this is how you can use references tab and citations and bibliography i hope it was helpful and informative so guys this was all about microsoft word referencing tool there are other tools as well which are available for you to create your list of references such as mendeley mybib and so on if you want me to create a video on these tools you can let me know in the comment section and i will create a video on other tools as well also if you have any feedback or suggestions please mention on the comment section i will make sure that i take care of those things if you want me to create a video on a different topic let me know that as well i hope you learned something new today and you will not make any mistake in preparing your list of references after this video if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel and do not forget to share it with your colleague and friends we shall meet again in the next video on a different topic till then keep reading keep writing thank you so much for watching